Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Sand and Nice Techie and this is the fourth video on Python scripting for storage admin and in today's video we will discuss about file handling so you may have already guessed that we will write script today to do various operations on files like read, write and save data inside it so we will open a file through script we will write something into it and then we will save it and then again we will read the entire content of that file that we just created so before proceeding further a request to you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video i upload under this particular series you will be notified immediately without any delay so i have already written the code here i have just uh, written five lines here and whatever i have explained we will be able to achieve it through these five lines only so first we will open a file for writing purpose so s is an object and uh, open is the function which uh, deals with uh, opening a file so within double quotes i have written file.txt so this is a text file whose name will be file and uh, you can open any kind of uh, file.txt excel file csv file by using this particular line so after comma you can see that i have all written uh, w so w is the short form of uh, write so if you are mentioning here w then the file will be opened for writing purpose if you are mentioning r here then the file will be open for read purpose and one more mode is there a which will open the file for appending so now i will start with w one point is that if this particular file that is file.txt is not present then it will automatically create a file for you so the next line is r.write so in this particular line we are writing some uh, content into the file that we just opened so write is the function which uh, deals with the writing and whatever content is present inside the within quotes will be written into that file so you can see slash n this is a new line character what it will do that after this particular line is written in that particular file then if we are writing few more lines then it will be written on the next line it will not append in the same single line and then we have to close it and we can do that by using s dot close so this particular statement will make sure that whatever you have written in the file it will be saved if you are not writing this then uh, after this script is executed nothing will be saved in the file now in the fourth line we will open the entire file and we will read the entire content of that file and whatever is written in that particular file it will be stored in the variable read underscore file and dot read is the function which will read all the content of that file and uh, the last statement is print read underscore file which will print the content of the file that is this is the file one now if i execute this script then we will get an output that is this is a file one so let me execute it by pressing f5 button and click ok so here we can see that we have got a output this is a file and you can also see a gap here this means that uh, the slash n is also working fine so now let me show you the actual file the actual file that is file.txt will be stored in the same directory where the script is running so let me open that particular directory and here i can see the file name here and if i will open it i can see the content here this is the file one so now let me tell you one more point here so we have opened the file in w mode so if you will execute again this particular script then it will overwrite the existing content so let me show you i will modify it by saying this is a file 2 and again execute the script and now we will see that the output is this is a file 2 and again if we will open the file then we will see the new content that is this is a file 2 so in order to avoid this you can use the append mode here instead of w so now if i will write a which is the short form of append and again execute the script we will be seeing two lines in the file 
so this is file 2 and the second line is also this is a file 2 now again if we will open the file and see the content here we will see an extra line here so this was the most common example to see how we can handle a file through script in python so i am pretty much sure that this is a very simple script but you can implement this in many complex scenario as well so hope i have made file handling process of python scripting a little bit uh, simpler and if you feel that this video was very helpful then don't hesitate to share this particular video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified for more videos on this series if you have any suggestion or any question regarding this tutorial series you can leave your question or suggestion in comment section and i will try to answer those thanks again guys for watching this video see you in next video